and welcome back to another video and today we are going to be going over the top five best mining farms which you can do in BFA today. Now just stick around and enjoy the video. Guys, let's get into the top five mining farms which we can do in BFA right now, right now. Okay, so that being the case, let's get into number one. Number one on our list is the Thorium Ore Farm and that can be found in Silithus, which I am already in because I am currently sat next to the sword and basically all you have to do is go around the edges and if I actually turn on my gather mate add-on so if I go into gather mate to reload my my actual thing and all I would have to do that was really high then think so um, all I'd have to do is go into my gather mate and go into my add-on and type in always show for mining. If I grab this up and show you right here, you can see where all of the ore is. Now, personally, I would recommend just going all along the edges, and that is what I do for an entire farm. The key to this mining farm is not the thorium ore, because that sells for near on pennies. It's more along the lines of the arcane crystals you get from the thorium ore, so to speak, and the true silver ore. But the bulk of the majority of your gold for the hour will be from your arcane crystals. For an hour's farm, I usually get around about 20 to 22 of these arcane crystals, and they sell from usually around about 200 or 500 gold per piece, depending on which time of year it actually is. I don't know why it's a different time of year. It actually sells for a lot more, but I'm not going to, I am seriously not going to complain when it hits 500 gold a piece because they sell rather rapidly and they are used for the arcane, arcanite bars in order to create things such as your sulfurous hammer, transmog, or your thunder fury blessed by the wing and seeker. All of those types of vanilla old school items. So the arcane crystals sell rather, rather well. Now, on average, you're going to get around about 20,000 gold per hour on this actual farm. If you do get less, then don't come crying to me because at the end of the day, you should be double checking your auction houses before you do these farms. Just makes sense, right? Um, other than that little bit of a moan, um, I would recommend that you do double check your auction houses and at the end of the day this is by far one of the best uh, mining farms that I would say is probably out there at the moment because arcane crystals are pretty much always in demand mainly because they're not usually highly supplied so why not supply them and make a lot of gold along with that. Number two and that is the dark iron ore. Dark Iron Ore can be found in the Molten Core instance. If you do not kill any of the bosses and just move around them, you will see a load of nodes for Dark Iron Ore. Dark Iron Ore can actually be sold on the auction house for a decent amount of gold, such as averaging from anywhere from around about 40 gold a piece all the way up to like 100 gold per piece, depending on your realm, so to speak. So I'm just gonna say this out right now, double check your auction houses for every single ore that we're doing before you do these farms to see if it's actually worth it because don't want to waste your time you don't want to waste your time so double check your auction house before you do these farms but other than that it is used in a lot of different types of transmog creation it is used for a lot of old school reputation gains and all that jazz so it is rather in high demand i can usually sell a stack of 200 of these for within like a week and a half, so to speak. So we'll just say two weeks. It'll just make it a lot easier in order to do. But at the end of the day, Dark Iron Ore one is go in there, farm up all of the ore, then reset the instance. With me, I will go in my Druid with mining, press Dreamwalk once I'm done, then go back in uh, by pressing Dreamwalk again, and then I'm back in the instance once I've reset it, obviously and all the nodes will have respawned. Now, on average, you will get at least a stack of 200 by the end of it, but at the end of the day, the Dark Iron Ore is a great farm in order to do for just mining in general, as it's such a particular niche market 
not many people actually go out of their way in order to farm it up. If you find it on the auction house, you're better off farming up a load of it and then buying out the rest on the auction house and then pretty stacking it so you have the majority control on it because it isn't that regularly farmed. So then you can have the monopoly on that particular ore. Other than that, guys, let's move on to number three. Number three, we have the pyrite ore, and that is found in Aldham. So if we go over to Aldham right now, it's over here, and all you really do is, if you follow my cursor, you will start over in this section over here, and then just follow your way all the way around towards here, and then double back. And then just keep doing that for around about an hour. You will gain a load of pyrite ore as well as a lot of elementium ore and a few volatiles from all of the different types of ores that you will be farming up. I usually combine this with my whiptail farm in order to get hold of the maximum amount of gold per hour, but at the end of the day, you can still average around about 25,000 to 35 uh, to 30,000 gold per hour. I nearly said 35. So 25 to 30,000 gold per hour from this actual farm. It's really easy to do and the pyrite ore is the main seller for this as it is used for like things like the vial of the sands recipe is the main contributor for its sales on the auction house but it can be used for other different types of transmog pieces, pieces and gear that you can then sell on the auction house as well. But at the end of the day you can always use your alchemy to turn it into true gold and then make a lot of gold along with that. But other than that guys, that is pretty much what I have to say for the pyrite ore for Aldham. It's really that simple, just go in a line, double back, and just keep doing that. That is pretty much how easy that, that actual farm is, it just gets a bit boring after a little while. So I would recommend just sticking on the TV as well and just glancing over every now and then or have something playing in the background because this one does get a little bit tedious after a little while. Number four is the Storm Song Valley mining farm and this can be farmed up in Storm Song Valley of course. And if you follow this route which is on the screen right now you're going to average around about 20,000 gold per hour upon average for this actual mining farm. Now this is current content so it will sell a lot faster so don't let the gold per hour fool you when you're actually doing this because the current content stuff will actually sell faster than the other stuff. So the gold per hour could be higher on the different types of ores that we've just covered but we have to bear in mind that they will sell a little bit less uh, compared towards the BFA ones as they sell near on within the first week as opposed to the others which will take a few weeks to sell so I would highly recommend mixing up a load of the few and doing some current content stuff to get you some quick and additional gold in the mix as well so you can keep doing and topping up and topping up you could probably get away with just doing this all the time and then having a, uh, a, a little strong control on that side of the auction house but we have to bear in mind that current content materials and gathering in general is highly contested so you really have to go for the niche stuff if you want a monopoly on it but other than that that is the platinum Orm farm and i personally think it is a decent farm in order to do and it's probably one of the only bfa mining farms that i would even consider doing because the rest of them are just terrible in my opinion so if you think you found a decent and or a better one, please put it in the comment section down below and I will actually test it out for a few hours and I will give you guys an update whether I was wrong and you, the person that gives it to me uh, in that sense is, uh, is actually pretty spot on. But other than that, that is probably one of my best farms for current content ore farming so to speak. Moving on to the last one and that is the titanium ore farm in winter grasp. So titanium ore farm winter grasp let's go over to Azeroth. Go over to Northrend and go into winter grasp right here and you can definitely tell you can see where the route would be. Now obviously I'm going to place it on the screen right about now 
and at the end of the day it's mainly just going around there for an hour. You're averaging around about 30 to 35,000 gold per hour just by mining all of this titanium ore up. If you actually combine this with your actual smelting practices you can make it up to around about 40,000 gold making the titan steel bars and if you actually do this for an hour and a half you can on average make yourself a mechanist chopper as well and sell that on the auction house. Other than that this is by far the best mining farm you can always do and you can guarantee you're going to sell all of this ore as it is still in pretty high demand considering it is from Wrath of the Lich King so I would highly recommend that you actually do the titanium ore farm and do it a lot. Uh, I, I usually do it on a given week, uh, around about three or four times, mainly as a t method of top up, so three or four times over the span of two weeks, and that is pretty damn good in the grand scheme of things because that's nearly over 120,000 gold worth of titanium ore and saronite ore, which I then place on the auction house, and I can usually sell it within the month. So at the end of the day, that's pretty damn good if I then combine that with other different types of farms such as the BFA one and still make a regular decent amount of gold along with that. Other than that guys that is my top best mining farms that I would consider are probably one of the bests. If you think of any others that I have missed out please then put them in the comment section down below but other than that guys have a lovely rest of the day and I shall see you in the next video which will be on Wednesday. Take it easy guys.